Yes, bro. Yes, yes, bro. At Bunch, which happened? Which a mush, eh? Which a mush, a guy, my bunch. Moya Shamuri. At Bunch. Moya Shamuri. Good. Eh, ah, now I tell you, comment pa pa page yard of a yard for. Oh, okay. Eh. And uh, they've taken advantage of the same, the amount of sharing, what what. Mm. Eh. So, but you know, I engage coach. Yeah, I spoke to the coach immediately after the Africa Cup, and he promised me not to call me to the national team anymore. Oh, that's what he said that you're not going. Yes, that's what he said, yes. And you've never spoken after? No, I've never spoke to him. Actually, after I responded, I blocked him. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, I responded okay. to him. And coach Mose. I spoke to him too. Yeah. I spoke to him, uh, I think, a week ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I... what, what was his, uh, like, was he just checking on you or had an honest uh, conversation? Uh, you mean Grant or Coach Mose? Ah, Coach Mose. Coach Mose. Yeah, he was checking on me because he sent uh, the list to Grant and he said uh -huh. that he, he included me on the list. But then Grant okay. told him to remove me on the list. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, I spoke to the president, yes. And uh, you know what I'm what I'm talking to you right now. If there is yes. a way that you can record my conversation, I would like you to do it. Uh, let me just check if I can. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, Anyway, we can just speak, it's okay, it's fine. Yeah, so, because uh, what I want to tell you, I think it's very important more than anything else. So, okay, maybe let me just try to put the speaker and just record the phone. You know? Yeah, you can just do it using the other phone. Yeah, 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 sure. I think we're okay. We're yeah. Okay. Yeah. So immediately after the Africa Cup, uh, we had uh, the tournament in Marawi. So yes. the coach sent me an audio. He actually sent two audios. So he sent me an audio saying that, uh, hey, fashion. Actually, I will start with him when he became the Zambian national team coach. So when he became the okay. Zambian national team coach and he called me in camp and I met him for the first time, and he, uh, he was telling me in his room, he called me to his room and he was telling me, for me, you are the best player in Zambia. You are doing very well. You are amazing. I like everything about you. You can dribble, you can score, you can run and all these things. So we had a very good conversation when I met him the first time. And then after the Africa Cup, he sent me two orders. So he started uh -huh. saying that, hey, fashion, sorry, I have to apologize to you that I told you that you are the best player. You are the best player for Zambia, and you are a very good football player. I have to apologize for that. But for me, you are a very bad player, and uh, you don't work hard. You are very lazy, and uh, I can promise you that as long as I'm the national team coach, I will never call you to the national team. As long as I remain as the Zambian national team coach, I will never call you, because I want to, to choose players who are working hard players who are contributing to the national team. For me, you are not contributing anything to the national team in Zambian football. And before, before I responded to him, I sent that audio direct to the president. Yeah. I sent the, the audio direct to the, to the first president, and uh, the first president called me, and I spoke to the first president almost an hour on the phone. Okay. We, had, we had a very good conversation. I'm not going to to discuss yeah. what we discussed, me and him, yeah. because of the yeah, of private purposes, yeah. yes. But yeah, yeah. but that's what Glant said to me. And uh, 
getting such kind of words from the coach. I think it was very disrespectful and telling me that I'm the reason why we were knocked out from the Africa Cup. I'm the reason why Zambia lost against Morocco. And I told him that you put me on the bench against Morocco. So what are you talking about? You just failed your tactics and then you want to put the blame on me. For my understanding as a coach, when you lose the game, you need to take responsibility. You don't need to, to start downgrading other players. I respect his decision. If he doesn't want me to be in the squad, he doesn't need to send me disrespectful audio telling me that I don't work hard, like I'm a bad player, I'm the worst player he has ever coached and all these things. I don't think, I don't think that shows respect. If he doesn't want me in the squad, he can easily drop me and put other players. You know, I'm a Zambian and I'll always support Zambia. Even if I'm not there, I will remain a Zambian. And I told him that he is working for Zambian national team, not because he's a Zambian, but because he's getting paid there. I don't care going to the national team, even if I'm not getting paid, I'll go and play for Zambia because I'm a Zambian. But getting such disrespectful messages from him after a very big Africa Cup, a very big competition, it was very disrespectful and I didn't like that at all. And I have, I have, I have, I have, I have the audios from him. It's just that he deleted the, the, the other audio and the other audio I, I quickly uh, forwarded it to my families and also to the president. And he deleted the other okay. audio after I listened to it. Yeah. Okay. So that, okay. That, 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 that's the reason why. Okay. No, I totally understand. And I think the reason I decided to reach out, I mm. think uh, despite everything that's going on, I think we, we, we have been through a lot. I think we've seen different situations for the national team. Mm. And uh, most importantly, I think the coach, uh, coaches come and go. That's, that's true. So, yeah. So the national team is uh, something that permanently uh, attaches all of us. Exactly. So I think, I think uh, even this same situation that we have right now, yes. uh, it's obviously unfortunate that uh, we have two important games. Mm. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, all of us, we just look at Zambia. I think everything else for me, Mm. It doesn't matter, you know. Like uh, we are, we've struggled in our football. Uh, we struggled to qualify to the Afcon. Yes. Qualifying to the Afcon, even mm. if we didn't do well, for me personally, I think I was very proud to see. Uh, it was Zambia very special. It very, it was very yes. special because we've been working yeah. for this for a long time. Yeah. And all what we wanted yeah. to see was Zambia to play at the Afcon after a long, long time. And you know, yes. To be, to be fair, to be fair, I told the coach that the national team, I don't pay people, I don't pay coaches or anyone at first for me to be called to the national team. Because the national yeah. team, you are called according to your performance, isn't it? Yes. You are yes, called exactly. according to your performance yeah. and the performance that you show at your club level is like an application yeah. letter that you can send to, uh, to the national team. To the national team, yeah. Yes, it's either you yeah. get approved to be part of the national team or not. But when yeah. you look at the national team now, you see a lot of players who are not even playing in their clubs and they are, they are part of the national team. Some of them, you yeah, can't even tell me when was the last time they played even 20 minutes. Yeah. But they are, yeah. they, they are there at yeah. the national team because they are using the same agent. How many times did the, yeah. the, 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 the coach told me to use his agent, to be part with his agent, telling me his agent is very yeah. good, he's changing Zambian football, you can work with him, he doesn't need too much money. I'm not, I'm, I, I, yeah. I'm not a kid. Yeah. You found me already playing yeah. at a high level. So what are you telling me about an agent? I'm not a kid who is just coming from an academy that you can say, ah, oh, you have to, to use my agent, blah, 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 and all this shit. I don't, think, I don't think it's fair for him to be doing things like that. He's destroying Zambian football. Yeah. You know, for me, yeah. even if you don't call me to be part of the national team, if Zambia win, I'll be very proud because I'm a Zambian. Yeah. If he leaves today, yeah. the Zambian national team, if he goes to another country, he will never care about Zambia. Everything will remain with us, Zambians. Yeah. Everything yeah. Will, remain, will, will remain with us. He will go to another, to another country, he will go to another club where they will offer him a lot of money or something. He will never care about Zambia. He doesn't understand how many years we've been fighting for this national team for us to yeah. build a team that can qualify to the Africa Cup. And then yeah. he can start so, sending yeah. disrespectful audios just mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, so like I said, uh, for me, it was a proud moment to see the team qualify to the AFCON. Yeah. Uh, personally, even if we didn't... Uh, 
come out of the group. I think uh, I understood it was always going to be hard. I think uh, most of the players were going at such a big tournament for the first time. Yes. I understood the disappointment. Uh, personally, I think I've walked through football. I, I don't cry a lot when we lose. Yes. I, I always look at the next opportunity. Uh, I, I was a bit, a lot of things happened as we already know, even uh, in camp. I think yes. we saw a lot of things that happened that should yes. not have happened. But mm. uh, now we have an opportunity to start again. Uh, I would have expected that all these things would have been behind us because this mm. is like a new, a new phase. Uh, I I didn't pay too much attention. I think I spoke to the coach up. Mm. Situation before us. Yes. Uh, it's unfortunate the games are coming. There's a short period. I do, honestly don't know what's going to happen between mm. now and uh, the time we play uh, that game. Because uh, in all fairness, obviously we've been playing very well for your team. Thank and uh, the national team needs all the players that are performing well, regardless of whatever. Because, uh, like I said, uh, coaches come and go. Yeah. Uh, we all yeah. desire to have uh, a, yeah. our national team, to the best national team that we can have. Exactly. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm happy that you spoke to the president, but I just thought uh, if I also hear you out. I didn't want to, yeah. to make uh, a judgment without uh, hearing you out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, honestly, I think. It's unfortunate what has happened, but I think I still believe that uh, somewhere there has to be a midway where the national team is going to be the ultimate winner. We are all exactly. just uh, two. Even us, exactly. where we are, we are not going to be there forever. Exactly. We are all going to leave. The time will come that we are going to leave the national team, but then we remain Zambians. Yeah. And as Zambians, yeah. we will forever be with the national team. It's like that. But yeah. someone who is not a Zambian will never be part of the national team when he is not there anymore. Yeah, so you know. that's what uh, I thought I uh, followed. I've uh, not said anything, but I just thought I uh, hear you out. I hope there is going to be a way to just uh, resolve this. Uh, but also maybe public comments from your end. Maybe you should be, you can speak to family, I think. That's fair enough. You can speak to, I don't know if uh, there are colleagues of us in the team that you are close to, yes. Uh, but outsiders, these guys who just, you know, they just take advantage of whatever is going on. You know, you, and, you, know, uh, you know, Mr. Sidin, let me, uh, let me just yes. stop you there. Because uh, yes. this is one of the reasons why I said, uh, maybe you can yeah. record my call. Yes. You, I want you to understand that all the football players for, who are playing for the national yes. team, they are representing yeah. Zambia. You understand that? Yes. And when you see yes, me responding, totally. when you see me responding to some of the comments and stuff like that, it's because I want people to see to and also to know what I, what I've been going through. You understand? Because yeah, I can I can tell you, you 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 are the first media, isn't it? Yes. You exactly. are the first media, and since the Africa Cup. You are not even talking yes. about what I'm doing. You as the Football Association of Zambia, while you are talking about other players. Did I do anything wrong to you as the Association of Zambia? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But because you listen to the coach, who is an outsider, telling you guys not to, to write anything about me. What I'm trying to say is that even if you do write about me or don't, or, or, or not, we are doing it for the generation to come. We are doing it to inspire the kids. And as the Football Association of Zambia, I'm not saying that you, you should be writing about me. But if you start writing about one player, you better start writing about all the players. Because all the kids yes. in Zambia, they need to see what we are doing for Zambia. You, it's, it's not... It's yes, not I think uh, to, it's, be fair, to be fair to him, uh, I think it's not him. Uh, I think I'll be fair to him. Uh -huh. uh, probably, maybe the only thing is there's a disconnect between what you do at the club and also what you do like uh, i think when you score with two share uh, obviously yesterday the only thing that we had is we had a lot of negative energy that was coming. no uh, uh, I'll, I'll cut you short don't don't sure. don't say when you okay. when i score you share you don't talk about me you guys you talk about other players when they score when they do what you what you what you do is you you want to share my post while for other people you are making big statement that's why that, 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 that that's not fair that's not fair. I'm not. I'm not an academy player. Come on, Mr. Sidin. I'm not an academy I think player. We and do the same for. We no, do the same no, for, no, like no. If your club shares, we share. No, even from your. No, Mr. Sidin. No, 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 Mr. Sidin. We, 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 we have to mm. speak like men, you and me. 
don't yeah, try no, yes brothers, I mean. yes yeah. because these things we can see these things okay so what i'm trying to say is that what we are doing yeah. i want you to understand that we are doing it for the generations to come if you want zambia to yeah. be better in the years to come you have to appreciate the, yeah. the new the the generation that is playing football calendar to motivate the young ones coming but if you want to pick one or two players that you'll be talking about as fast imagine i'm 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 very proud of what Kundananji and Babla, they are doing the, the, the women football team, they are doing absolutely amazing. But we have such a bigger role to play for, 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 for men's team as well. And you can just choose only one or two people from the men's national team that you guys are talking about. I don't want you to talk about, about me because I've spoken about it, but you don't. No, 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 I totally understand. Yes, and, but uh, you don't. And, I think I, I, and I what? I take uh, uh, feedback. I think it's not, I'm not. I'm not saying this because you are talking about uh, our way. No, 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 no. I uh. take feedback. Uh, it's a positive way to build. That's why I was trying to just clarify. Yeah. So yeah. that you also appreciate from where we are. I'm not saying that uh, what you're saying. Is yes, not yes, true. because no, no. yes, because what I wanted to make clear is that I know that Faz is not supposed to talk about what we are doing for our clubs, but if it's talking about other players, why not me? Then I'm doing it too. So what's the problem for me then? Did I do anything wrong to Faz? No. I've never even Definitely found not. myself in a uh, in situation of, of being in discipline for the national team and uh, for the clubs. All the clubs that I've played yeah. for. That should be yeah. a very good but thing for the kids to come. how many times we reach out to you to do like interviews. Like, uh, I think this we've been through several times. I, and I've I, told you that uh, being think, one of the main... I, I think I've explained this to you before. I don't know if you, you, you appreciate this point. Like for any assignment that we have like we pick out some of the big uh, uh, names the no, team no, 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 Mr. Sijin I don't want us to mix conversations you know, when you have when you want me to do interviews I do interviews, so that's something different I want you to, to take uh, to take the good message to the kids who are growing up and watching us Okay. so what I'm trying to say is if you talk about other players when they are playing for their clubs, why not me? I'm not talking about okay. why you don't do interviews with me, why you don't do... No, you do interviews and I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate that. And you know me, I don't like interviews. I think you know that. Yes, I do. Yes, I don't like interviews. I'm always saying no to interviews because I don't want to speak yeah. too much. I believe the work itself should speak for itself. And yeah. what I'm trying to say is if you talk about other players doing well for their clubs when they score when they do what when they win games you make statements then i'm asking why not me because i'm doing the same since i came to saudi arabia actually even after the africa cup you guys you you, you are just very disconnected from me as if i'm not zambian i'm a zambian and i can assure it i can i, I, I can tell you that what i'm doing in saudi arabia it's a very big project that will help a lot of zambians kids and even today, as I told you to record the conversation, you can tell kids yeah. to come and play in Saudi Arabia. It's far much better than other leagues that you are watching. And even kids will become even more rich to help their families. Okay. You okay. understand me? Because a lot of downgrading is happening in Zambia about me, what I'm doing here. We are coming from very low and poor families okay. and kids need to see that also money is important. We are doing it for a, short, for, for a very short period of time, and kids need to see this. They need to understand the importance of money. You are not going to eat uh, trophies after football. You can win trophies, yes, yeah. but money is important too. So I want you, you media people to also understand that what I'm doing in Saudi Arabia is not a joke. I'm, I, I, I'm competing with big stars. And by the grace of God, I've done better than many stars here. And every time you see a statement, it's a weak league, it's a bad league, it's this, this. It's because you guys also, the Football Association of Zambia, who are always making statements about other people who are playing in other leagues, you don't talk about Saudi Arabia League, how tough it is, or even about me. It's not easy that I'm just scoring tappings. I'm not just scoring goals on the line. It's because I'm working so hard, and I want this message to go to the kids out there, Tell Zambians if they want to uh, to play in the I mean to see to to to, to be motivated and play in the South South League. It's, it's one of the best leagues, and I'm doing it for the for the generation to come. I want you to understand. You see, this is something that I'll never stop. 
I've, I've started yeah. a mission that I started long time ago. And because I was not putting on social media, you know the reason why I'm yeah. putting in social media all these things I'm doing for the, for the rural areas and for Ichipata. Some, yeah. It's something that I've done it before. I did it before, yeah. but because now I want people to see. Because we are living in a world where we believe everything should be only for us, not for other people. And this is why I'm doing yeah. this, that people should see the importance of one person who can do this. And what if we have 10 or 12 people in the South League? How, uh, how, how are we going to help uh, the Zambian football? If we have 10 players, it means we can help the Zambian football a lot, even much better than, the, than what I've done also for the rural areas. You understand? So I, want, I, yeah. I, I don't want people to downgrade and think maybe uh, I'm just here joking. You, the media people, you play such a big role in football. And you have to understand that even all these players, it's not about me. If you talk about one player, talk about all the players who play for the national team. If you don't want to talk about them, you can simply stop and don't talk. Because that also brings a very big impact when the players are in camp. Players, if you guys, you don't know, we talk about this in camp. Yeah, of course, it's normal where there are people. I mean, it's uh, where there are people. I mean, people have to express themselves. Exactly. So, yeah, so this is yeah, this is this so, is very important for you. I yeah, mean, I yeah. hope I didn't say anything bad against your no, words or no, no, against. No, I think from the from the time that you've known me, I think uh, I I take feedback. And, yes. Uh, I have no reason to to hold anything against anyone. I think yes. generally, like I've told you, this is uh, our national team. For exactly. Me, exactly. Uh, I'm a soccer fan above everything so even uh, reaching out to you i think i believe it's good to have uh, honest conversations it's not the first time that we don't always see things the same way which is normal but uh, it's good that uh, you express yourself i also express myself so mm -hmm. that's why i said uh, of course i pointed out something you've clarified to me i told you that uh, i didn't think that maybe when these things are coming out they yeah. tend to be taken advantage of by other people and uh, that was one of the reasons why i decided to reach out because at the end of the day, uh, there's always a chance for uh, a solution. Whatever yeah. the differences that have, I'm sure the most important thing is we have to find uh, middle ground. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter how hate you are, what, uh, whatever the court said to you. Uh, no one owns uh, football. Exactly. No one owns uh, this. Yeah. So uh, we have to do everything to create room for for a solution i know yeah. that uh, even if we are going through this thing uh, there has to be a solution there are many people who uh, want to see this thing be sorted out in a, in a better way yeah and that's why i said sometimes yeah people reach out to you and uh, maybe other people reach out to the coach at the end of the day uh, we all have to find space to exist because uh, these are your best years in football you want to make your best contribution to the game so yeah just because probably you feel hate is not enough reason for you to stop because look at where you are coming from yes you see you, you see you, you see the yeah. most important thing is that i'm not stopping at all you know just to, yes. to cut this yes. i'm not i'm not yeah. stopping and yeah. uh, what yeah. is stopping me is the coach that we have and for me yeah the, i don't i don't have a problem if you don't call me to the national team and you call best players to go and win the game because I don't own the national team. I'm just a player. I don't have a yeah. contract with the national team. Zambia national team is for yeah. all the Zambians. Whoever deserves it to be there can be there. I don't, I, I don't feel entitled that I have a position there at the national team. No, it's for all the Zambians. But he should yeah. be calling players who are able to represent Zambia and they are doing well at, at their club levels. You know, not just because yeah. they have the same agent. And this Kalini guy is destroying Zambian football. And they should be very careful with that. He's destroying Zambian football. You know, you guys, I don't know if you know how many Kalini players are there. Do you know that, the, <clears throat> do you know that the, the, there are two players now who are with my agent? And then how many times those boys were warned against Kalini? These boys were, Kalini, were, they were with Kalini before. They were with Kalini before. Uh. And immediately they left Kalini and joined my agent. Do you know how many messages and the threatens they, they, they were receiving from Kalin and the, and the same coach that, that, that you have? You can, I, I don't want to mention names, but this yeah. is the boy who is, yeah, doing who is doing very well. The boy is doing very well, but when we come to the national team, yeah. you can see sometimes they put him on the bench. He's coming from the bench. And he's a very good player that we all want to see him to start games. 
He's a very yeah, good winger. So, he can score goals for Zambia. He can assist goals for Zambia. And when he comes to the national team, they want to play games with him, to put him on the bench. They start this game, they start him, this game. It's because there are games going on. Because he left Kalin and he was getting threatening messages from Kalin, you never played for the national team, as if it's the, the national team for Kalin, as if it's the national team for Grant. This is the Football Association of Zambia, not Football Association of Kalin or Football Association of Grant. I don't care if Grant will be the national team coach forever. And, uh, I don't have a problem if I'll never play for Zambia again, if Grant will stay there forever. Because I will still remain a Zambian and I will try to support Zambia in any way so that football should continue in Zambia. We can't be threatened because, yeah. <laughs> be, 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 because Grant and Kalini, they feel like they own the national team, because they feel like they control the national team. This is the national team for Zambians. And every Zambian who deserves to be there should go there and play. Millions of Zambians, are expect, uh, they are waiting for results for, 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 for the national team to win games. While they are taking players who are not even playing, players who are even just uh, jogging around in small academies and all that. Players who are not playing because they want to make money. It's not about money. The national team is not about money. Go, you play for the clubs if you want to make money. The national team is about passion and pride to represent the country, not what they are doing, playing games. I can, even when I come to Zambia, when I come to Zambia, I can call these boys and talk to them when you are, when you are with me. I can, I can talk to them and I can say, hey, yeah. I want you to, to show those messages that Karine and, uh, and his, his, his coach were threatening you that if you don't join his agent, you will never play for Zambia. This is not the football association of Kalini or football association of Grant. They should stay away from the national team if they want to play games like that. For me, I don't have a problem if they don't call me for the national team. It's fine because then there are players who deserve to be there. This is a national team, not a club. We don't have contracts. And every Zambian is, 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 is ready to represent Zambia. You know, it's not, uh, yeah. it's not that uh, because now I'm Fashion Sakal, I'm playing for this club, I'm playing for... Then I, I own the position for the national team. No. As long as even a 40-year-old man, a 40-year-old man who retired and comes back to football and he's doing better than all of us, it's okay to include him to the national team if he's doing better. Even if he's 50. If he's playing better football, take him to the national team because that's what Zambians need. Zambians don't need uh, uh, the players of Kalin. Zambians don't need only the players of Grant. Zambians are not benefiting from that. But the coach Grant yeah. and, and, and Kalin, they are benefiting from that. But then Zambians yeah. are not benefiting from that. Yeah, so, yeah, so at least I've, uh, I've, I've gotten that aspect. So thank you so like much, I'll bro. Say, you know, I'm very, I'm very I'm angry, but uh, and, um, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, it's fine. I thank think you, it's, thank uh, you. It's good to have, uh, yeah, yeah, so I, I appreciate that you've explained to me.